Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, let me just get right in because there are two topics for this video. The first one is a possible career move for me, and the second one is a no spend 2018. So let's start with the career move. So my the company I work at is a pretty big company, it's a Fortune 500. And they, so there's a lot of different business units within the company, obviously, and they're really big on professional development, whether it's taking a class, like a training and development class, or um, in my, in another sense, like working in a different area. So it, my company, when you're hired, you have to spend a year in that business unit, and then you can move on. So at the one year mark, you can, you're free to move anywhere you want to go within the company. Um, I've been with the company for two years and I've been in the same department for the whole two years. I mean, my job descriptions changed a little bit over the last couple of years, but it's pretty much the same. Um, so I am ready to move on and gain some more experience within um, my company. So I've talked to my manager, she's aware of it, and I had to because when you, when you apply as an employee, then your manager gets a notification that you've applied for a job. So, um, my interview is next Wednesday, January 10th, um, so it's a week from today. Um, it's the same company, different business units, and it's the same field. So I currently work in compliance, in a compliance role in the marketing department of a business unit within my company. This is a compliance role in a marketing department in a different business units. So it's my current, it's all of my current responsibilities with a few more added on. And that is why I'm, choo I'm choosing to, to interview for this position because it would give me more experience than what I'm currently getting. And I've been in this compliance role for a year. So it's time for me to move on. Um, assuming I get the role. <laughs> I'm assuming I get the job, right? I'm not the only one interviewing, but we'll, we'll see. I'll keep you posted on that. So going to the second topic of this video, a no spend 2018. So I know in the Dave Ramsey budgeting frugal living community, there's typically you'll see no spend January, no spend Marches. It's like that one year. I think no spend September is a big thing or sell stuff September. I don't know. Basically it's for a month at a time. I am doing the whole year. So no unnecessary eating out, um, say for a few times with family or work. It's not uncommon for us to go out a couple times a year for work. Um, and then trivia once a month. So I like to play trivia and I typically go once a week and it's like 10 to $25 depending on where I go. I'm going to go once a month. There is no reason I should be going weekly for this. Um, so yeah, and that's really all I have. I think, yeah, the no spend 2018 is, is going to be a learning in progress. I mean, it's basically no unnecessary spending outside of necessities, like no new clothes, no new purses, um, nothing, Just nothing. Um, now obviously I'm probably have to buy maternity clothes this year, so, but that's different. That's necessary. Like if I'm seven months pregnant and my, you know, belly's growing, I can't wear jeans that don't fit me anymore. I have to go buy maternity jeans. So that's an entirely different story. And that's why I've got my sinking fund set up. So when the time comes, I've got money there. Um, and I've got my notes here. So yeah, that's, that's it for now. Um, so thank you all for watching. I will see you in my next video. Click subscribe if you haven't and it's after New Year's, so hopefully you had a good New Year. Bye!